in the history, ages ago, like some information... Does he, does he strike a dramatic pose, like, in the history, ages ago? <laughs> Just talk to yeah, everyone. Yeah, ages ago, that was some dragon. The end. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know, I'm sorry. What do I know with the uh, 26? Oh, that's... That's yeah. Norkana check, yep, by the way. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you are pretty sure that the Baldiart is a magma dragon. And mm. he's very, very, very old. Some would even say that he's ancient. Uh, define ancient. Very old. Uh, as in um, the age group known no. as ancient. Yeah, oh, the age oh. group known as ancient. Magma okay. Dragon. And also with a role like that, you don't know the exact other name, but you think you remember something about that even though this is a really powerful dragon, he's serving under another one. Hmm. Maybe even more powerful, but with even with roll like that, uh, you I don't, don't know, know the exact name yeah. and specifics. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I, I so, say that to the group. Yeah, but question to you, Jai. Um, how do you know that? Well, if you read books, uh, I mean, if you read as many books and you, I mean, as you travel around the world and you go from place to place looking for people. I mean, you, you, you hear stuff in taverns, whether it be from a drunk or a, uh, or a, a master scholar. You, you pick things up. Okay, I'm fully satisfied with this answer. Okay, so... Continue right. with your interrogation. Hmm. Right, then I want. By this point, the uh, knife is uh, kind of glowing and. Uh, yeah, but Ginkiro, you heard that uh, Otiros, if I understood correctly, that he's yes. trying to prevent. I'm still you. holding your hand, like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then I kind of look at the Otiros, don't interfere. <laughs> But uh, if Atiros, what are you doing? But then I look at the orc. Well, since my partner here has the bleeding heart for your filthy kind, he has offered you to die the honorable way. But before we go to that, I have a few questions of my own. So many questions. Mm, so many questions. Mm. The hill giants. I'm curious about them. Who leads them? The orcs. Even uh, I could answer that. Or the dragon. I don't know. Something about uh, leading, something about being led by a dragon seems kind of epic. I don't know. You need to. But I asked the question anyway. Like out of character, you need to specify the question. Do you mean leads? Like, are the hill giant lead bar particular war chief, or overall, who leads this whole mass of orcs, hill giants, and so on? Basically, Basically uh, who the who the hill giants serve? That's what he is asking. Yeah. They serve the same master we are. The dragon. We are united under the name of Baliard. Baliard. So they are united under the name of Baliard, the dragon, who is united under the name of another dragon who is probably more powerful than him. Great. Perfect. Ugh. I shake my right. head and look. Or I look and I say, any other questions? Hmm. Yeah, speaking of dragons, you can make um, either general knowledge check or knowledge geography. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, shit, I have engineering dungeoneering, but... I only have What did you say the check was? Geography. Or geography. an int check, I think, ah. which is general knowledge. 
Damn it, I'm rolling shit tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with 15, let's just say... There is... You don't know anything besides the name and location, but... Far east from Sidonia and Asmarian and the cities, there is a place called Land of Ashes. And one or two times you heard that there is a land where, you know, there might be dragons, really powerful dragons living there. Okay. Because they are mostly the stuff of legends, but who knows? Anyways, that's also, yeah, that was the question and... If you have more, the the orc now you are interrogating says that. Uh, one more question, then, and he looks at Otiros. Mm -hmm. I want my right. my duel. Very well. Right then, I whisper to Jai. Do we know why the dragons are attacking? Uh, because they're dragons and they're pissed off. I don't know. I could ask. And yeah, oh, I forgot about important thing. Jai, with roll like that, you are pretty sure that this particular dragon, Barriard, Magma Dragon, is not good. Mm. Yeah, I can't assume. Yeah, yeah. He is of an evil alignment. Hey, I'm just uh, asking around. And maybe we should discuss this last question. Zach, do you have any anything interesting? Anyone have anything they want to read? Really? Uh, Zach isn't here. Oh, dear, yep. I completely forgot about that. I beat okay. him. Where did he go? I, I mean, him. I mean, no, my character is <laughs> here. So yeah, yeah, for now, yeah. Zach is still sitting here burning stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, just one Where of the, the hell things. Did you go? One of the <laughs> things I said, like to, I know you have fun with interrogation, but I also try to make things so Zach will join us in this yes. session, not in the future one. <laughs> Okay. At the end of the fine, session, fine. we've just okay. finished the interrogation. Yeah, yeah. Let's just ask who, if he has any brothers. No, no, maybe not. That'd be silly. Uh, let's so how just was see. your day? <laughs> <laughs> let's do that. Okay, I'll totally with that one. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, better question, please. Right. And how many pieces do you want to be sent back in? Just son of a no! God damn it! I say, uh, I say, I look at the uh, dude and I say, so... Any specific, uh, anyone specific you want to fight? Yeah. I say that in Orcish to the Orc. Yeah. Orch. None. I shall fight with what I have now. Then, yeah, but no. who? <laughs> who? Who does he want to Which fight? Which one of us? Uh, he looks at Otiros. Yes. Okay, let's just hope I don't fuck up everything and he kicks my arse and beats everyone up and runs out of here. Oh well, very well then. <laughs> He's not um, gonna be able to beat you, it's, it'll be fine. Okay. Mm, very well! So I suppose I just walk out... No, wait a second, I'm not going to walk out while while you're still here, Genkiro. So I pretty much just let him out, let him out and walk... Uh, let him out, cut his bonds and just walk out and hoping he'll wait, follow wait, me. Wait, don't... Don't let the uh, orc lieutenant see you. What? Mm. What did you say? Don't let the uh, orc captain see you. When are they going to fight him? If you're mm. going to fight him, uh, do it somewhere quiet. Okay. I'll come with. I'll be referee, seeing as I'm the only one who can speak orcish. Uh, okay. I so, could translate his battle cries. I'm sure you'll need it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So and there can, goes my plan to do. Can oh. we first go with quick scene of the duel? Yeah. Uh, let's yep. just. Should we just take a quick sk skip the duel and just let's say I won won while he's put up a surprising <laughs> amount of a fight? Uh, there was no duel because after you struck him, you realized that, that he simply like. Uh, in real life, we call this suicide by cop. And here he just simply used this duel as a means to escape from your grasp by enemies necessary. So technically speaking, he well, he simply thrown yourself, he thrown himself at you to get impaled. So there was no fight at all. I have a hard time seeming impaling yourself on a dagger I was trying to use to cut his bone, but okay, I'll just roll with it. <laughs> Not during the duel. I mean, yeah, I didn't just ask. Skipping I, that. I didn't it's ask fine. what kind of weapon you right. used. Uh, yeah, I used that last anyway. Mm. 
Right. Okay, yeah. so that's the uh, duel. Now for the last prisoner. Mm. Right. If uh, the uh, orc lieutenant didn't see them and the uh, Jai is still here, I'm going to, before uh, the uh, lieutenant comes, I'm going to cast Glyvness on myself. I'm going to put on my uh, my uh, fox helmet or fox mask. And I'm going to. Uh, do I want to uh, cast. Uh, uh, hang on. Pyrotechnics on the nearby torches. Assuming you're doing this old stuff to get better, like intimidation thing yeah. going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're doing this. Uh, uh, yeah. What do the rest of the party returns to the cell for the interrogation? Yeah, I just I have to walk there because I have to translate everything. Just asking. You need to be sure. Yep. Then, as the orc lieutenant comes in, he sees uh, a uh, man in a twisted uh, fox mask. A few uh, uh, torches uh, burning brighter and uh, more intensely than they should. Mm -hmm. And he is uh, toying around with a glowing uh, dagger. Okay. That's uh, Afterwar looks to be super afterwards. Afterwards, I. Afterwards, I walk in and I hold up my hand and I sheepishly say hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, we need you to translate after all. <laughs> <laughs> and we <you> killed. <laughs> he was like, come on! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, or this orc warship gives something akin to a bark of the laughter. <laughs> rolling his eyes like <laughs> <laughs> he was really? like almost on the verge of pissing himself and then I walk in and then he's all relaxed and fine again <laughs> like diners of laughter <laughs> oh god oh god I mean a, a guy with a scythe and evil mask is totally going to lo loosen the mood after all okay so to set the mood and to see what's like mm. all these things made in mechanical terms. Uh, Genhiro, another intimidation roll, please, but with all this preparation. Um, with me diffusing all this preparation? But still, <laughs> like, you diffused. Kinda works. You diffused half of it, like, half, uh, some of it. So, uh, like, plus five um, circumstances. Instead bonus. of the plus ten, you would have gone. Yay. Mm. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> I feel so useful, I'm helping. Yeah, <laughs> okay, to intimidate. Uh, remind me, on intimidation checks, do you need what? Do you need, but do you need to beat some... Ki uh, will save, I think. No, sen uh, to intimidate is versus a sense motive roll. Oh, good. This guy has no fucking sense motive. <laughs> then okay. he's not gonna I be know. able to make it. Mm. Not Just even that uh, can help him. Mm. Nothing will help. Oh, and I just want to uh, remind me that the fucking grim, <laughs> the fucking grim reaper is standing right behind me too. But yeah. still, Jai, like yeah, the, the, the kind the of way you showed up. With my what, heart. what what Jai said was like you know the yeah, kind, kind of silly looking. Is a grim reaper like hi. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have no well. Sorry. What what are your questions, guys, for this this right. uh, lieutenant? Who you are pretty sure that his name is Ukratung the Grey Skull, because you know he, he has the Grey Skull tattoos on his face. Or his so face then, I walk in. I say in or I say I ask in Orcish. Yeah. Have you been read your rights yet? <laughs> I have a feeling he's a bit confused right yeah, now. Yeah, he, lo he looks sure at you. Uh, he right looks at you here. confused, like like he wonders if he if you are st more stupid than him. Well, All right. Have you? I say I wait for an answer. 
Like, he, he shrugs. I guess that's a no. Good, because you don't have any. <laughs> yes. So then, so Mr. There uh, Gray Skull, can I call you Scully? Can I call you Scully? <laughs> I say after translating the question. What do you want? Ah, oh, you're no fun. He asks what you want. <laughs> and I... Uh, behind the... Uh, mask, uh, I give a... Uh, small uh, chuckle and... Uh, well... Since uh, my first toy gave such inspiring music, imagine my surprise when the second toy came in and uh, came all gave me all sorts of answers. And I want to make a bluff check to. Uh, well, it's not a lie. You've been given all sorts of answers. <laughs> Basically, what I'm getting at that the your little shaman or whatever his name was forgot about when all the screaming happened. Uh, he agreed to uh, to uh, let's say. Uh, help us with this little dragon problem of ours in uh, in uh, exchange for his life and his family's life. Okay, for that and you need to roll for bluff. Yeah. Let's see. But no uh, circumstance bonus. You let's just, see, you, bluff was plus 17 and glibness was plus 20, so that's yeah, I think I got this. Turn nine. Oh god. Well, shit. You <laughs> rolled two. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Dear god, I wonder who the fuck created these fucking NPCs. <laughs> they and have... gave them no fucking sense motive. You're Our playing with Gestalt's characters. They're not supposed characters. to have sense motive. It's fine. Mm. Yeah, I'm guessing orcs are orc warlords are stupid enough to do not. Yeah, he completely believes you. <laughs> so he's totally angry that someone, some fucker, did in his band he decide to betray him. And before we continue, uh, Genkiro, what are you doing with your like dagger knife? Are you like pointing, keeping it up, visible, pointing it at uh, the guy? Yeah, you know uh, when they put it on the uh, table and kind of twirl it around a bit, catch it, twirl it around. Yeah, basically that. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. All right. Did you know that I have uh, killed a uh, mountain troll? With this thumb, and I give him a thumbs up. And roll another bluff check. I mean, it's re redundant to roll another because you have fucking 30 to bluff every, every yeah. living shit of everything. So, yeah. Every, every little story you tell him, he believes more or less. But, yeah, let's get to the point. I'm just saying this yeah. as a game master. So basically, I'm trying to get uh, him riled up and uh, get him angry at his men and uh, and uh, see if I can uh, get some information uh, from him uh, while he's screaming bloody murder and uh, see if I, I can uh, convince him to... Uh, to, uh, well, not particularly give up his way, that would be too redundant, and, but maybe, just maybe, he could uh, give us some information about uh, his, his partner's whereabouts, their plans. 
uh, okay so the thing happens that you're riling him up and anger and the thing that you said that he his men betrayed him and he like says says Jai understands that he something says something that uh, he lost his honor everything and so on and remind me there is a candle on the table yes yeah and I cast fire techniques on it as well so uh, if I snap my fingers like that it would uh, probably turn into uh, some form of blow torch or something uh, perfect I assume that you did it like to this just happened in this moment is that you can you know to give additional drama effect to your stories yep and overall, this railing him up, uh, in one moment Jai understands that he's saying there is, he says something like, uh, there is only one way to regain my honor, and he tries to slam his head on the candle to impale one of his eyes in the candle. And, give me a moment. Can I, can I... Um, I'm just thinking about what kind of role you can make to try to prevent him uh, from yeah. killing a himself. A reflex save? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a reflex save, only that... It's a reflex to save him. Only that... <laughs> it's a reflex to knock... Only that uh, because... To knock the... Uh, only that reflex the save to knock the candle out of the way. Yep, only Genki can take it because he's the closest one. He's yep, sitting so... on the opposite side of the table. Alright, so let's see. And I'm guessing that... Um, I'm saying, not guessing. I'm just saying that Jai didn't manage to like warn the others what the orc has said, so... Uh, you might be surprised, uh, Genkiro, so... For surprise, minus two to your reflex save. Ah, damn it. Alright. So... <laughs> 29! Fucking crit! Oh, snap! That's an automatic success. Jesus. Yep. But still, Orc slams his head into the table. But, yeah, he's just like... But the, the candle Does is gone. the table yeah, break? Yeah, the, the candle, candle is gone. And what? No, the table is still stands, but... While he, like, uh, prostates himself, yeah, and you can see his face, you can see, like, small cuts, small cuts on his face and... Maybe non -ex almost non-existent bleeding, but yeah, he's still alive and he's you know emotional mess that he wanted to kill himself and you didn't allow him to. Guys, he's trying to kill himself. Stop him! No, I say. <laughs> no way! Come back now. <laughs> okay, he's still right, like uh, bounded and. Yeah, so I'm uh, stopping him from killing himself. And no, 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 no. That's my job, but that comes later. And uh, by this point, I'm trying to get as much information as him uh, as fast as possible. Okay, so between his screams of rage and so on, you can get uh, these things that um, the hierarchy in the in the army is that um, him the gray skull and uh, that he's he basically serves under Vaxan the furious and he says that the Vaxan guy is the leader of the hill giants and basically the composition of the army is that there are less hill giants than orcs but the you know the orcs are under hill giants because they are like they are um, less powerful <clears throat> and he says that about the Gorgo the Rager about another war chief of uh, Orkish war chief that technically speaking he also is a uh, Vaxan lucky like his subordinate but in reality, he's really powerful, and he's he's like if someone from the Hill Giants tried to treat him like a simple 
uh, subordinate, he's reacting in anger and yeah, he's just uh, angry. Um, there is also another thing, he starts telling something about camps and main base of operations. And that means... That means... He says the name oh, nice. Bal Balliard's Funk. The, he says that there, there is their, that is their main fortress and base of operations for attacking the rest of the region. Hmm. Of course, he's not saying this exactly in the words as I do, but yeah, basically he, I'm just conveying the message he 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 says to him. Right. Yeah, basically he spilled out where are their no you know base of operations. When I get back to Barrier Spang, I'm going to kill them all. Kind of like that. Yeah, probably. And yeah, you. But even with these roles, you cannot uh, understand and get the information if these leaders he talks about are there at the fortress. It's unknown to him. Anything else? Mm -hmm. That's basically everything he can right. give to you. All right. Then our work here is complete. Then let's hand them, let's hand them over to the people here. They can pretty much do what they want with him. Yep, it's four times, so it's probably not going to end well. But I'd rather not be the one to do it myself. Yeah, it will. It will definitely not end well for him because, yeah. well, they are focused on other jobs and keeping a prisoner is only making more risks. And you all pretty much can guess what will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Heads, pikes, walls. <laughs> yeah, so probably Reynard, one of Reynard's men will stick the head of this guy on the pike in front of the fort so that the rest of the orcs will know what they do not want to fuck with Reynard Augustus' big mustachio. Anyway, sorry Jai, I interrupted you. Continue. No, it's fine, it's fine. So what do we, uh, what do, we do now? Do we just take this information and go to... Uh, Go to Pinewood? Mm. I'm more concerned why we didn't uh, get any visit from the dragon. He could I mean, easily. Well, what, do you, what do you want to do? I mean, we can hardly fight this dragon by ourselves. We're going to need an army for that. And the army is at Pinewood right now. Oh, wait. It's I mean, more, uh, the. Like, this is read to foreshadow, not foreshadowing, but forwarding one information, but you will it, learn it anyway, that because of this new situation, the front lines are, like, reinforced, so there will be less guards and soldiers in Pinewood. Right. I uh, don't know if they attacked Fort Cloweshire or not, but we should uh, probably try to head back at to Pinewood as fast as possible. Uh, yeah, question, Matthias. Yep. The Pinewood is the main base of operations, right? Uh, in terms of military? Yeah. Nope. Oh. The biggest military base, technically speaking, that can provide large amount of soldiers and has right next to them uh, the place to manufacture weapons is Fortress Lumbridge. Okay. Let's right, see where that is it. at on the map. Uh, it's uh, oh, dear pretty up. much at the oh. upper right corner. There, gray good. I shift and click it so it should like center it for you. Or do you need to make center there it and is. click? Found it. See. That's gonna be... If we wanted to go there, it would we be us walking into the orcs, basically. But, I mean, if I look yeah, around the group and I say, well, we could go to Fort Lambridge, we could get additional soldiers there, we would pass Pinewood on the way there, at least if we don't take the shortcut. 
Uh, you can pretty much guess even without intelligence and wisdom checks that even no you even saw that that there are there were some soldiers with uh, gray coat and fortress lambridge insignias not many yeah. many maybe many more are coming but yeah for now yeah we there were, there i mean some. there are a few but not nearly enough to hold off the incoming force and the dragon if there is any incoming force, you don't know. Yeah, if there is one. Yeah. The question, do right. you like roll out from Fort Darkwell the same night or... Well, we, we, we're not sure about what we're going to do yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah but... so decide, because... Well, at first we should probably head back to uh, Pinewood to report to the... Uh, yeah. Uh, what was her name? The head cleric of the Church of Life. Pope Leoria. Pope Leoria. Yeah. Right, Pope Leoria. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll... Uh, she mentioned uh, something about some artifact. Maybe that could help us. Yeah, uh, you are, that's, that's the point of recap that... Basically, as of this moment, none of you, seven foot, <laughs> none of you living beings can will be able to hold this artifact. It's too powerful and would probably mean your death. Besides that, this artifact is not yet complete. It's only a part of. Can't we just like put a put it, poke it with a stick into a bag and just grab it and run? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just as long as we don't to touch buy? it. And a weapon that will probably kill you if it touches you. And yeah, there's also one thing. Why don't we just throw it at our enemies? <laughs> there is also <laughs> one thing again, Kiro. That I mean, not only Kiro, but I think Jai and Totiros were at this talk with her. At the what? Sorry. Uh, there was a talk between Leoria and uh, Party when yeah, As Asmarius party popped there. out. So yeah, you also remember that while the most of the soldiers left, the Pinewood is less protected and who knows what might happen. Yep. Zach, please don't move your token in this page. <laughs> yeah, it's so <laughs> rude. How dare you? It's just yeah. not rude, but I'm just, you know, it's only for yeah, showing yeah, we're just kidding. The, the NPCs and... So yeah. I just noticed that Asmarius looks like me, but with a different hood. Yeah, he's more badass. <laughs> no, he's not. I am more badass. I'm gonna kick his ass one day. It'll be fun. Well, <laughs> Robert has to have his mustache. <laughs> it'll, 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 I ha I'll have to wait until I'm level twenty, but it'll happen. Yeah, something like that. Mm. We'll believe in you. We'll see it through. Probably from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the point where we have like this amazing fight, and I lose my hand, and this as Marius says, "I am your father." <laughs> no, no, that's not uh, possible. Okay, well, then, so... it kills, then it kills you, and we all like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just need a short answer. Are you going to Pinewood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Have, so have there's another. Have you even introduced uh, Zach yet? Yeah, but because we are you are going to Pinewood, I want to introduce his character there because I'm treating Pinewood as a respawn hub for characters. Okay, okay. teleportation ability activated. Let's but see if before I, I was we... just about to say like, oh, so you're going to Pinewood? Oh, okay. Sorry, Zach, you're still in Fort Darkwell, and they haven't met you yet, so it's gonna take a more. <laughs> no, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> like the idea from the bidding was that he won't be there, he will be at the city. Anyways, yeah. before we continue, I need a small 10 minute break to get something to drink. And okay, uh, yes. We'll see. Yeah. So, peace break, 10 minutes, and we'll see each other in a short while. <laughs> 